A lot of us need the rain. I want to show you that rain outlook for this month, next month, May, and then into June and how that ties into the hurricane season. I do want to mention in about 20 days, April 20th, I'll be able to meet some of you in Montego Bay. That's Easter Sunday. I'll be out there speaking. So come out there no matter uh, what religious belief you have. Just come out. It's going to be a great time. I will be at Blessed Sacrament uh, Cathedral after Mass, speaking after Mass. That's right in Montego Bay. I'll be posting more about that on social media. But April 20th in Jamaica, I am headed your way. I'll be with you on Easter Sunday. Hopefully, we'll be able to uh, meet. All right, let's get a look at that rain outlook. This here is for this month. This gives us a feel of whether the rain's going to be above average or below average. Doesn't mean we're necessarily going to get a ton, but with that, you see this green shading throughout much of the Caribbean. That's above average rain. Again, it doesn't mean way above average, but at least we'll see a nice notch up in the rain. So a slightly better chance of rain as the month goes on. And boy, a lot of us needed to fill up the cisterns. Uh, we're running dry in many spots. Now across parts of the uh, southern United States, back through the Bahamas, and into uh, Cuba. So kind of clipping by the Northern Caribbean back through Northern Central America, the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, below average. Where you see the yellows, the tans, that's below average rain. But Haiti over toward the uh, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, for example, down through Trinidad, St. Lucia, Barbados, above average rain in Dominica. Again, not a lot, but at least a better chance. Now let's flip over into May and you see some darker greens here, even some blues, well above Above average rain over toward Honduras, Nicaragua, and Costa Rica, and then still above average Jamaica in much of the Caribbean. So we're going to see a higher chance of rain, even higher as we work our way into May. Now look what happens. Let's go out further into June. Hurricane season starts June 1st. This here is the June rain outlook. Once again, throughout much of the Caribbean on the wetter than average side, especially over towards Central America, and then even St. Vincent the Grenadines and Grenada, above average rain in June, still below average Bahamas and Cuba, and we need the rain. Bahamas and Cuba, we have been way too dry, and then running well above average back through Mexico, and then swinging up toward Texas and the southern United States. Now, this starts to play into the hurricane season. While we need the rain, when we have the rain around, or at least the chance of some storms around, well, that coupled with above average average water temperatures, that could also lead to the possibility of tropical storms and hurricanes a little bit earlier in the season. Always a give and take with the weather, uh, with more available moisture around above average rain that does lend itself to a slightly higher chance that we have a quicker start to the hurricane season. You see the water temperatures through the Caribbean right now, 28 degrees Celsius, 83 degrees Fahrenheit in many spots above average with those water temperatures, especially in the Western Gulf, the Western near Louisiana and Texas, back through parts of Mexico, record warm water temperatures at this point, running above average in almost all of the Caribbean. So you have the, the warm water fuels hurricanes, right? So you have that, but you also need some moisture above, but I just showed you we'll have above average rain chances. Through, so there is a chance we're off to kind of a, a faster start to the hurricane season, and it doesn't necessarily wait until June 1st. Uh, every other year in May, which is now next month, uh, there is some sort of name system out there. So we are now very close to the start of the hurricane season. Uh, could be an above average start. I am watching it for you. We need the rain. Some of us are going to get some over the next couple of months. Uh, with that said, I'll be monitoring to see if we do get any early season or even pre-season tropical development, tropical storms or hurricanes. So behind the scenes, I'm watching that. I'll keep you posted as you know on everything. That's why I do this channel. Now, I've been watching a couple little showers overnight, clipping some of us by. We've had a couple near the ABC Islands. We've had a few near Barbados, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Guatemala and El Salvador, back through Nicaragua, and even Panama. A couple of those showers around Guyana and Suriname, some of the rain. I want to show you the areas of rain over the next few days. It's tied into the winds. The winds are going to get really strong. You can see kilometers an hour and miles per hour, and then I'll show you the rain in a second. And you see, as we go out in time here, this is today. Gusty easterly winds, but they're going to be picking up further 
as the week goes on. Look at the white shading near Haiti and the Dominican Republic and the Turks and Caicos, ABC Islands, and then even back through Belize and Honduras uh, near the water, that white shading telling me we're going to have some wind gusts of 80 kilometers an hour or 50 miles per hour. We do that again as we work our way into Thursday. Thursday may be the windiest day. You see these white shadings in here, a strong easterly flow, gusty winds, Antigua, Barbuda, uh, Guadalupe, Dominica, and then stay on the gusty side right through Friday. Here's Friday and you see these white shadings in here once again telling me we'll have some of those winds gusting to 80 kilometers an hour. I'll show you the seas in a minute. That means very elevated seas. By the time we get into the weekend, some of the winds in the Eastern Caribbean will relax a little bit, but still on the strong side in spots, watching over toward a Rotan. So we're gonna see the winds picking up over the next couple days. That will help pull in a couple showers for some of us. Now, hit or miss Jamaica, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico, Guyana and Suriname, watching out for some of that rain around. We'll start to see that easterly flow giving us some of those spotty showers, St. Lucia, Barbados, we may get a few around, but those strong easterly winds will try to draw some of this moisture later in the week and even by the weekend closer to Trinidad. This here is by tomorrow. You see very close to Trinidad, some of the rain hit or miss elsewhere, but tomorrow it's still to the south of Trinidad watching Guyana and Suriname. Then on Thursday, that's when a few of the showers could break free. Well, that strong easterly flow, we may get clipped by some showers Thursday to Friday over toward Trinidad. Elsewhere, just spotty, fast moving showers with that strong easterly flow that will be with us through the end of the week. I'll expand out in just a second. I want to show you a flood threat to the north, but watch how the seas really start to build. Winds are going to pick up. The seas are going to be elevated. This is today. Here's meters. Here's feet on the right hand side of your screen. And you see over toward the Bay, the Gulf, the Caribbean, the Atlantic waters, all of these greens popping up, some of the yellows, two to about three and a half meters, pushing 10 feet in some spots. This here is by Friday. Those Atlantic waters, very elevated. Everything is going to be elevated and on the rougher side, especially Thursday and Friday. It'll be building tomorrow, but especially Thursday and into Friday. Now, a big surge of moisture is going to be hanging over the Tennessee and Ohio River Valley. I bring that up because while that system is parked there, a couple systems for days and days, that allows that strong easterly flow just to crank across the uh, Caribbean. So here's what's going on. Most of that rain again north of the Bahamas, watching over toward Bermuda again later today, that higher chance of rain, Atlantic region of Canada. And then this is what's going to happen. This moisture just is going to build in some of the same spots across the United States. That's going to lead to over a foot of rain in some spots, a significant significant flood threat setting up right in this sector here. But while, while all of this energy is here, that allows that strong easterly flow to pick up across the Caribbean. And you see on Thursday, some of that snow uh, trying to take aim over toward uh, Newfoundland, some of the rain parts of New Brunswick, Prince Edward uh, Island, seeing that chance of some of the rain. So unfortunately, most of the rain just to the north of the Bahamas the next couple days. We'll get a few showers and thunderstorms around Jamaica. We may get a couple. Haiti and the Dominican Republic. You see a little purple showing up even over toward uh, Puerto Rico, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. May get a spot or two over an inch of rain or over 25 millimeters of of rain, but the rain total is not very substantial until you get down to the south. Over the next three days, most of the rain just south of uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Grenada were mainly dry. Could get a couple little showers around, but look at these higher totals. 100 millimeters of rain. Suriname and Guyana creeping up toward Venezuela. This is what I'll be watching as we get toward the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, to see how much of this rain will try to break free and lift to the north. Spotty showers, Guatemala, El Salvador, mainly dry in Belize. Hit or miss Costa Rica and Panama were mainly dry throughout much of Mexico for now and then even back toward uh, Texas some of that rain over toward the Dallas area so 30 to 40 percent chance of spotty showers and storms for us as we work our way toward uh, the uh, middle and end of the week Cayman Islands we need some rain another spot where we need to get some of the rain turned it out the rain chance stays very low the next two days monitoring that rain that is down toward the southeast Barbados passing shower could get one or two this morning same thing in St. Lucia 
Volusia, there's been a couple showers nearby from overnight. Rain, uh, rain chance stays limited in Grenada. Not to say we can't see a couple showers, but the rain chance is just not too high. But it does build on Thursday up to a 40% chance. St. Vincent and the Grenadines and a 30 to 40% chance in Martinique. Passing shower possible this morning into the afternoon in Dominica today and a 30% chance for tomorrow. 30 to 40% chance for the next three days in Guadalupe and about a 20 to 30% chance Antigua and Barbuda. Isolated shower possible. St. Kitts, Nevis and Montserrat. 30% chance today and tomorrow. About a 40% chance of a passing shower today in Guilla and St. Bart's. 20 to 30% chance St. Martin, Sabe, and Stacia. The next two days in Puerto Rico, a 30% chance. 40% chance on Thursday. We could get a couple thunderstorms around and a 30% chance U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Rain chance staying on the low side in the Bahamas. In that outlook that I showed you earlier in this video, overall a drier outlook ahead. Turks and Caicos rain chance stays small. A 40 40 to 50% chance of some scattered showers, even a couple thunderstorms in the Dominican Republic, and about a 30% chance of isolated showers possible in Haiti. Belize were mainly dry the next few days. Rain chance stays limited in Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire, but as those winds pick up, we could get some of those passing showers. We have some gusty winds on the way. There's that 50 to 60% chance of rain in Guyana and seeing that rain around in Suriname the next several days. Rain chance 30% today in Cuba, about a 40% chance of a pop of shower or storm for tomorrow. A 30% chance today in Costa Rica and Panama will build a little bit as we get toward the end of the week up to about a 50% chance. 30% chance the next couple of days in Nicaragua, mainly dry in Honduras and a 40% chance of those spotty showers, Guatemala and El Salvador. And we've had some around overnight. Mexico City, we're on the dry side, mainly dry right across the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. Rain chance 20% in northern Colombia, building some though in northern Venezuela especially with some of that rain from Guyana that will be trying to get closer later in the week. Bermuda watching out for that front, as I showed you, passing by for today. So stronger winds are coming, some fast moving showers, watching the Southeast Caribbean to see how much some of that rain will try to lift in. Still monitoring that earthquake activity, and we are now very close to the start of hurricane season. As you know, I'm watching that moisture. We'll have above average rain, keeping an eye on the water temperatures in all the other ingredients as we lead up to the hurricane season. I hope you're doing well and I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.